Um, we've been uh, we've been training uh, descent technique technique especially to get better at uh, downhilling or descending with the road bike. Um, I think the main goals were to get faster, but not only faster, but saving energy. At the same time, it's very important for the sport they do. I always ask them to write some notes when they finish the sessions. You need to write it down. You need to write your own messages and your own way so you will understand and review in a few weeks or in a few months. It needs to be consistent every run. Okay, I would like to be as consistent as possible. All right, so let's see if we can keep the same watts per descent, and then we see if the time goes down and, and how are you feeling on the bike. And if you wanna go faster, see if you go went faster because the wattage went up or because you just manage better your speed and cornering speed, which is the key thing. Working on those drills and on those exercises that we did, it is something that they can do from now on every day, they ride their bikes, which is pretty much every day. And one thing is like you keep on working and every once in a while you do yourself a refreshment and you look at the notes you have. So, you know, you need to be on top of, of your game. Every time they went down, they record the information. So we've seen a lot of riders that they not only went faster in time, but they save a lot of watts. So that tells you, you know, both things, which is important. And these are my goals. It's like, not only the guy is going faster, but he's saving a lot of energy. So I want them to actually focus in, in having a, a better execution. Remember guys, just stay on the right side, eh? Done? Sure, they are all challenged by the time. And look, I'm using less watts and, and being even faster. But that's, to me, that's in second place. The most important thing is like, they actually understand the exercise and they can execute it right. So that's what the Lotto NL Yumbo coach, who's a former downhill champion, said. What do I think of it all? I'm pretty interested in this because, as myself, I like going fast up hills. Um, and I'm not the best descent. Like, I'm not bad, but I know it's definitely a place I can improve on. And as he said, it's not just like going faster, it's saving energy as well. I thought it was pretty, pretty interesting that Lotto did decide to hire a downhill coach because often, obviously, you have a coach to get you fa go faster up a hill and on the flats, but often technique in road cycling, I think is neglected, but it's good to see that Lotto on. So here we go, Newly 2015. Did the same thing in 2017, to be fair. But I can found this this clip is one of my favourites to watch going downhill. And if you think about what the Lotto NL Yumbo coach said, he was, he was talking about like the da the speed into the corner, saving power, and also just like the out outright speed, like how fast we're going. So if you know, watch Newly. He tries to pedal, like he attack once, and then he, he doesn't pedal much. What he does most of the time, like this, take a, takes a gel, but also just like in the aero position, super low down, just trying to save as much energy as possible. And when he's out the saddle through there, just a little bit of pedals and then straight back in, into the, the aero position. And when he goes through the corner, you can see it's not breaking. He's like almost going faster into the corner um, than the thing, which is partly because the motorbike's slowing down. Um, so it gives the effect that he's sort of speeding up through the corner. But even so, like he just goes so fast through the corners, it's actually incredible. Like, obviously, this isn't perfect technique here because he has to break just at the end of the corner, but it's amazing. And I think if you want to be a professional, which I'm not, I don't think I can be. Like, it'll be it'll be nice, but I think my my numbers aren't there, and um, also my racing performance isn't there. But I think yeah, you just have to be so confident in the downhill. Just know like your limits. Like Nibali knows exactly this descent. He knows it so well. Um, he's trained. He said that before that he trained there. He's trained there a lot. Um, but it's not even just that. It's just having confidence in everything, knowing that like yeah, you might crash, but it will probably be all right. Like having confidence on your grip. Like there, he just did that tiny little adjustment. Um, and like maybe if you were a bit too scared, you might pull your brakes on and go flying all over the road, like Richie Port did. But Nibali, like he just has that confidence. Um, I think the thing is also with the descent is that like it's easier slightly following other people because you feel like there's less risk because the other people like that you just sort of follow their braking lines roughly if they're similar weight. The thing that's hard is when you're on your own and you're just like right I've got to go as fast as I can because often like you get a bit distracted and maybe like you're not concentrating as much as you should be um, on the descent. Well not even that but more just like your your lines you might be a bit over ambitious potentially but Nibali he's just 
yeah, he knows it. But look at that sprint straight out the saddle, but not too much because he knows he's going to have to break because he wants to save some energy because he's got another climb to do. But as soon as he, he sprints a little bit and then he gets in the saddle and this is pretty much coming to the end of the descent. But look, if you look at everyone else, they're going a lot more gingerly, like especially Timo Pino, he has, he's had some big problems with descending. Um, he's one of the people who is a great climber but struggles on the descent. Not as much now, but... Still, he did a lot of training as well. And I think it's one thing that's often neglected in road cycling, like I said before, is the technique aspect of it. Because a lot of people, if you start young, like, oh, yeah, you'll just get it. But it's like, Froome as well, to be fair, he's improved so much. But it's such a useful, useful arsenal to have, to be able to go on the attack, on the downhill. And also just save energy on the downhill. Like, if Bardet or Nibilo or someone like that attacks on the descent, it's good knowing that, like, you're not going to freak out and that you can... You don't have to expend too much energy trying to chase back on. Uh, these people, though, you can see the difference in speed, uh, which is partly because Astana are messing up the chase. But even so, like, Nibali is absolutely crushing it, um, sort of going as fast as the motorbikes down this part. Um, but you can see he's in the moment. He's not thinking about anything else but getting down this hill as fast as possible. Um, there's no fear. There's no, like, oh, what, what happens if I crash? It's like, nah, I'm going to win this. And I think, yeah, it's something that you definitely need to practice uh, in your training, not just, there's a pretty sketchy moment there, but you have to practice, like, going uphill, you have to practice putting power on the flats, maybe a bit of crosswinds, but also, like, downhill, going around corners, especially crits, like, it's so useful to be able to, here it goes, another replay of this Dodge, <laughs> Dodge thing with a TV moto. Luckily, most of us aren't in races with TVs, motos, and motorbikes messing us up, but... Yeah, it's just like you have to practice and get used to just like going through corners, what your grip level is going to be, like where to break. I think it's really important. You can save a lot of energy. You can also put a lot of other people in um, in like difficulty if you if you go through the corners. Sagan does that a lot on the Spring Classics. He really goes through the corners so fast. Like, look at this line. I don't know what they're doing there. Um, but he like pushes the other people massively on their limit and they have to sprint out of the corners just because he's... A, a lot more confident and better bike handler through the corners um so yeah that's my thoughts on it i'm pretty pretty happy that it's well not happy but i'm pretty surprised that lotto have hired a downhill coach because road cycling is pretty pretty old school in that sense but yeah it's good i think a lot of teams could learn from that i think a lot of young riders could think could um maybe hire a downhill coach or do some mountain biking or something else to improve their downhill skills so it's definitely something to have Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you next time.